So here comes question number eight. A train has dynamic ticket pricing system that is fewer than number of unreserved seats left. More is the price of the ticket. There are 120 tickets for 120 seats on the train. The price of the first ticket is 900. The price of the last ticket is 4500. The average price of all the 120 is 3000. Which of the following can be the average price of the last 10 tickets? So what is the average of those? That's what the question is asking. So basically he says as and when the number of seats decrease, so uh, the cost of the ticket, it keeps increasing. So for the first ticket, the price is 900. For the second ticket, the price is slightly more. Third ticket is again more and then it keeps increasing. And for the last ticket, the price is 4500. So first is 900. The last is 4500. What do I see here? The average would be somewhere between 900 and 4500 for sure. But the question is asking you which of the following can be the average price of the last 10 tickets. The last ticket is priced at 4500. Wherever the average is, if the average is slightly on this side, I would say, suppose here the price is 3000, right? I would say, of course, all the values are very close to each other. If the last one is having a price over here, probably these uh, values are very large. The other values are very small. That's a possibility. So it can lie anywhere. But when I talk about the last 10, the last 10 will contain this last ticket of 4500 as well. And therefore, we can surely say because it includes the highest 10 priced tickets. Keep that in mind. Last 10 means highest 10 priced tickets. So the average of highest 10 price ticket has to be more than average of all the tickets because of course the remaining 110 have an average which is less than that. I mean just think of this 110 tickets they have a certain average. The last 10 tickets they also have a certain average. Their overall average is 3000. It has to be more than 3000 because if this is less than 3000 this is automatically less than 3000 because that is of the lower ones. If the higher ones are priced below 3000, the lower ones are automatically priced below 1000. How can the average be 3000? So this A1 has to be more than 3000 and hence we can say average price of the last 10 tickets has to be more than 3000 which is only one option 3200. So this was not a question of mathematics I would say. It was more of a question of logical reasoning. A little bit of uh, I mean I would say concept clarity would have told you that okay the price has to be more than the average price and hence the price is 3200. So you can keep it in uh, easy to moderate category depending upon your comfort level with the logical reasoning.